Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and I am thrilled to announce that my collaboration with Roar Rocket, the DIY longboard kit that I was working on back in the spring, is finally available. If you've been with the channel for a while, then you'll remember the videos I did back then, developing the mold shape and the board shape, prototyping and iterating. And since then, the team over at Roar Rocket has taken those designs and refined them into a DIY kit that you guys can buy and use to press your own freestyle longboard decks. I did my best to tailor the mold so that it's really easy to use straight out of the box and will get you good results. And if you're interested in getting one, there'll be a link down in the description below. And when they were done with all their R&D, the team over at Roar Rocket sent me one of the new molds along with some veneers so that I could test it out, make sure everything works just great. So why don't we crack it open and see what we got? The kit comes with a CNC hot wire cut mold and the mold came out just great. It looks like they incorporated all of my geometry, including those big generous wheel wells that I designed to be easy to press with a vacuum bag. For testing, I've got a single set of veneers, but if you buy the full kit from Roar Rocket, it comes with enough sheets for two decks, which I think is pretty cool. The veneers I got are rock maple, but we did manage to include an option to substitute some of that maple with birch, so you can experiment with different stiffnesses and the different properties of those two woods. I have got to break out my well-used vac bag, but the kit itself will come with a fresh new one, a pump, and everything else you need to press a blank except for the glue. So let's lay up a deck, and if you've been watching the channel for a while, this is old hat. We take our stack of veneers, spread glue on both sides of the interior seams. To do that, I'm using a purpose-made glue roller, but you can use a paint roller nap, or even a squeegee cut from a milk carton. Use what you got. Once all the glue is laid down, I like to tape my sheets together. This helps keep them aligned. And then you locate them on the mold. And I'm going to try something here that was a tip from the Roar Rocket team. I'm going to tape the veneers to the mold where those deep wheel wells are. This should prevent the material of the bag from getting under the veneers and will help us get a much better shape. With the layup secure, I slide it into the back bag, seal it up, use a shot vac to evacuate most of the air, and then use the hand pump to finish up the job. After waiting a day or two, we can crack it open and remove the blank. Okay, 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 okay. At this point, it just needs shaping, and the kit includes a printable PDF template that you can use to make the shape that I designed. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good shape. You just print it out, cut and align the sheets, tape it together, and cut out your template. And with that, you've got yourself a template that you can trace onto your blank and use it to cut yourself out a really nice deck. However, The world has changed. I feel it in the maple. I smell it in the glue. It began with the pressing of the great prototypes. One went to good roads to hang in the hollowed halls. One went to Roar Rocket in the icy north. Within these decks was the strength and will to create a truly wonderful DIY longboard. But they were all of them deceived for another prototype was made. In the land of Mordor and the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord built in secret a master deck. One deck to rule them all.
In the original series, when I first designed this board, I said that one of my goals was that I wanted to make it highly modifiable so that you could make my shape, which I really like and think is a good shape, or you could make it into any number of crazy shapes and design your own. And this is my take on that. You can use the included template, but I also wanted to show you just how wild you can get with this kit. So I summoned the dark forces of the Witch King of Angmar and made this the Morgul deck. And it was really fun to do. I haven't made a really goofy kind of out there board like this in a while, so it was fun to make something a little weirder. First person to comment and let me know what this says in the dark speech, I'll send you some stickers and stuff. So, whether you're using the tried and tested Good Roads Geometry that comes with the kit, or using the kit to make something completely unique that only you could make, this is a great way to get out there and start flexing your board building muscles. It's available as a full kit, it is available as just the mold, and it's also available as a suite of four molds that includes the molds that were designed by the other shapers that were collaborating with War Rocket on these projects. There's a whole set of really cool board shapes and geometries, so if you're interested in that, check out the link down below. Huge, huge shout out to Roar Rocket for putting these collaborations together, for supplying the materials for R&D, for developing them into kits that you guys can get so that you can make your own boards. We all love this hobby so very much, and I hope with this I'm lowering the barrier for maybe some of you to get into it and start pressing decks. I can't wait to see what you guys build. So, that's going to be it for this week. If you want to see more awesome DIY board sport stuff, just go ahead and subscribe. That's what we do here. If you got questions or comments, leave them down below. I do my best to answer them. Big ol' thank you, as always, to my supporters over on Patreon. As always, I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Hey, quick note while we're wrapping things up. I'm gonna be at Maker Faire Rochester on November 20th in Rochester, New York. If you're in the area, swing on by. I'll have my molds, my decks, 3D printed tools, and we can chat about board building or printing or making in general, see all the awesome projects that people will have. So it should be a really fun time. If you're around, I hope to see you there. In the land of Mordor and the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord built in secret a master deck. One deck to rule them all. Oh shoot, I didn't bring the mask out. I gotta go get the mask.